We thought we'd hear the answer in December, of course, and then March, and then this week <laughs> there were rumors about getting an answer once again. Oh boy, right? Uh, of course, we're talking about FC Cincinnati's MLS bid, but devout fans, uh, for devout fans, I should say, the bid process has felt a little bit like a roller coaster. A little it's bit. felt like that for everybody. Nine on your sides, Brianna Malloy spoke to one Cincinnati sports fan whose next big project is really on the line. Yeah, I like a win or lose. <laughs> Kenny Simpson is a super fan. Well, my father, he's a huge fan. He's a that hard fan. And the proof is parked along his curb. This is his Reds van. We ain't finished with hit that one yet. His Bearcats van. Yeah, we just bought lights and we just kept getting lights and kept getting lights. His Bengals van. We got a couple tickets because the lights was too bright in the rim. Oh, no, no. Oh, I told him he was a Pittsburgh fan, so I think I got a ticket. <laughs> but for his next van, he's waiting for a special occasion. Well, now we got a soccer team, which we didn't have. So now I'm waiting to see if they get this bid so I could do me an FC Cincinnati. Cincinnati van. In November, Simpson started designing his FC van. I mean, I stopped by a lot of stores already trying to get stickers and flags. Then came December. So I'm all perked up and I'm looking at the news waiting in the morning. At 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock news, I'm looking. January. Well, tomorrow we should know this and tomorrow we should know that. February. We just wait. Say, so here we go again, wait. March. <sighs> at the MLS board meeting on Tuesday, he thought he'd finally learn for sure. But again, no vote. So it's like, yeah, what are we going to do? Now we're left with rumors that we could learn this week and rumors that the board won't vote till their next official meeting in August. By August, at least we'll be into a football season, so I have a little something to take off my mind. <laughs> but either way, this fan will be there. I'm on their side no matter what. And either way, he says his van will be there too. If we get the big bid, then I'm going to go big. If we get the regular, so I'm going to just give me a, a regular van to start off slow and build it up. <laughs> In Avondale, Brianna Malloy, <laughs> nine on your side. All right, so now you know the man behind the van. If you see yeah. one of those vans around town, you know who it is. Well, earlier today, you may have seen it. FC Cincinnati President Jeff Birding joined us on Good Morning Tri-State. Our Catherine Nero asked him about some of the pushback at the idea of a West End stadium. Birding claims that some of the opponents have been paid. There's about 50 people that show up at every meeting. Uh, some of them are paid organizers uh, from interest groups that like to agitate, have an agenda. Uh, we're confident that the West End folks, the rank and file, the homeowners, the, the people that live there, uh, that they support us. Now, Birding also claims they have support from about 75% of the West End residents they have spoken with during the process. He had no timeline to provide about the MLS bid. FC Cincinnati plays the Pittsburgh River Hounds tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. And you can find our full interview with Jeff Birding on WCPO.com. I have to say, I love the guy with the van. Yes. He's why we do news stories. <laughs> <laughs> he was amazing. He's what we Quite call keeping it real. Yes, yeah. he was. <laughs>